This video series shows how to commission the CPX API PN Profinet Remote I.O. with Siemens PLC. Learn how to do the commissioning in this video. Note, an application note is available on this topic with complete and detailed instructions. Creating a new project. Open Siemens Tier Portal software. Click on Create New Project. Provide a name to the project. Select the path to save the project. Click on Create. Click on Configure a device. Click on Add New Device. Select Unspecified CPU S7-1500. Select the PLC. Configuring Siemens PLC. Click on Detect the configuration of the connected device. Start search to find the PLC. Select the PLC which is connected in the network. Click on Detect to retrieve the hardware configuration of the PLC. Right click on PLC1. Select Properties. Note. IP address of the PLC and workstation must be in same range. Enter the required IP address and subnet mask. Click on OK to confirm the changes. Configuring CPX AP module. Add the downloaded GSDML file to Siemens Tier Portal. Select Options. Click on Manage General Station Description Files. Choose the GSDML file from your folder path. Select the file. Click on Install. Double click on Devices and Networks. Click on Hardware Catalog. Locate the CPX AP module under Hardware Catalog. Drag and drop CPX API v1 module to network view. Connect PLC to CPX AP module. Right click on API PN. Click on Properties. Select the Ethernet address. Note, the IP address of the CPX AP module and PLC must be in same range. Enter the required IP address of CPX AP PN module. Right click on API PN. Click on Assign Device Name. Click on Update List to scan the accessible devices in the network. Select the CPX AP. Click on Assign Name. Configuring CPX AP Devices. Check the connection structure of CPX AP devices using web server before configuration.
Open web browser. Enter the IP address of head module. Press enter to open web server. Note, here, you may observe how the CPX AP devices are connected to the head module, and the same arrangement must be configured in the Siemens tier portal. Go to Devices and Networks. Click on APIPN and click Device View. Click on Hardware Catalog. Expand Module. Note. CPX AP devices must be configured in Siemens tier portal in the same order as they are displayed in the web server. Drag and drop the modules needed as per the application. Add CPX API 4 IOL module. Add IOLink device in the corresponding port. Note. Festo Simplified Motion Series requires 2-byte input and output process data as it is connected to port 1. Add the IO-Link generic devices. Use port deactivated for unused ports. Add CPX API 8DI module. Save the project. Download the hardware configuration to PLC. Go online to verify the module status. Go to Devices and Networks. Click on APIPN. Click on Device View. Note down the slot number and sub-slot numbers of CPX AP devices which are relevant for further commissioning. Click on Properties. Go to System Constants tab. Note down the hardware ID of CPX AP devices which are relevant for further commissioning. Adding CPX AP library. Go to Options. Select Global Libraries. Select Open Library. Select the downloaded library. Click on Libraries to view the installed library. Open CPX AP Festo Library. Here you can find the CPX API function blocks which are relevant for further commissioning. Process Data Input Monitor and Output Control. Go to Devices and Networks. Click on APIPN. Click on Device View. Note down the Process Data Input and Output address of configured devices. To monitor and control process data, go to Watch and Force Tables. Double click on Add New Watch Table. 
Configure the required input and output address to be monitored and controlled. Note. You will get input values in second byte and set the output values in second byte because of the byte swap. Click on Go Online. Click on Monitor All to monitor the input and output addresses. Refer to the manual of the IO-Link devices for bitwise mapping of process data in and process data out. As per bit mapping of process data in, the cylinder is in state out position. Execute move in according to process data out bit mapping by setting true. Position changes are seen in process data in, status in bit turns true. Turn off move in bit, once execution is completed. Execute move out according to process data out bit mapping by setting true. Position changes are seen in process data in, status out bit turns true. Turn off move out bit once execution completed. Diagnostics of CPX API Click on PLC1 Click on Go Online to monitor the PLC status Now the PLC is in OK state If error occurs, the PLC state changes from OK to error state To check the diagnostic of devices, double-click on Online and Diagnostics Go to Diagnostics Buffer. Diagnostic information like name of the error occurred module, error description, and some remedies to clear the error will be seen. In this example we have interrupted AP Communication 8 DI module. After fixing the error, restart the CPX AP system which clears the error in module as well. Now the commissioning is completed.